fucking hey everyone, this is live stream gameplay showing you how to efficiently grind in Destiny 2, how I consolidate my time by doing a lot of different things but in the same activity. So here we are on the moon. I'm going to grab a shotgun. I spent a lot of legendary shards at the spider on helium filaments, which I can buy phantasmal fragments here. And my ultimate goal with this is to get a Essence of Rage, which contains the Moon Shotgun. I'll show you what I'm going for here in a second. So Essence of Rage, you need... It says super kills, but grenades count towards it. I am going for a better one of these. I want 1-2 punch, quick draw, full choke. And I don't really care about these two, but obviously if they were range, I would prefer that. Now we're going to the tower to grab obelisk bounties and a Tatara gaze frame, for me at least. Ugh. Bro, my eyes are actually killing me. I think we're all doing Tatara, so. I think, I think it's oh, all of us are doing Tatara, somebody. perfect. Yes. Fuck that, do trophy hunter. I can do trophy hunter at the same time as this, that's why it's such a good uh, idea to do all this at once. But I want Jack Queen King more than Trophy Hunter right now. Which, by the way, what I want on that is Threat Detector and Swashbuckler, Ricochet or High Cal here, Fast Draw, and Arrange Master Rick. I feel like that's the best mix of stats. Oh shit, I need some Promethazine and some more Agile. For the Tatara, I want Flared Magwell here, Reload Master Rick, Arrange Master Rick here, and something that is not handling right here with Quick Draw. So the way I usually do all these bounties is as soon as I load into whatever the forge is for the day, that's how you complete the Tataria gaze stuff, have a revoker on, a whisper of the worm on, and just as soon as I touch down, everything gets sniped until I charge the frame, at least complete the uh, multi-kills. And then for the Jack Queen King bounties that I'm going to grab, there's one that involves getting void ability kills, getting melee kills, getting solar ability kills, and getting hand cannon kills. Hence why I'm using this particular Jack Queen King. It makes this uh, grinding for Jack Queen Kings very, very easy. Depending on what bounties I get will determine what gloves I use. So I just swap between the gloves depending on what I need to get done for the bounty. Darcy might have more ammo capacity, I just like Whisper more. You don't honestly need that much ammo. It's really unlucky if you don't get it done in one magazine. I believe our wares will be to your left. Plus, you can uh, one-shot some yellow bars with uh, Empowering Rift, so it saves you bullets if you know what you're doing. Like so I just, I just grabbed my... I agree, I agree. I just grabbed my bounty from Ada. That's his frame. You're going to see their multi-kills with the snipe. That's what I was just talking about. Now I go to the tower obelisk. There's a way to link these. You just grab one of these, go to the determined destination or whatever, do one of the weapon bounties, and then you'll have it on the second page. So Jack Queen King, I'm grabbing, I'm actually glad I got Spelunker first. Spelunker I cannot do while I'm in the Black Armory Forge, so I'm gonna delete it. It's worth me deleting because I can get legendary shards and Fractaline, but I can't get more of my time, so. If I'm able to do all this stuff in the forge, it's more time efficient. So I picked up all my Jack Queen Kings. Are we ready to go? Oh my yep, God, to go. Dude. Yep. Dude, Joe Rogan gets five times. I don't even know that. He's a soy boy dog. This is the Izanami forge today, and I'll teach you how to throw the balls from each of the side islands so that you can save time when you do this. Your factor, dude. I should have said that going for this Tatara gaze is statistically really improbable. It could take weeks for me to get this role, but I'm committed to seeing it through. So this is why you're getting some unusual content for me this week. Is because I'm spending a lot of my time going for this. But I'm, I'm making compromises with it. As long as I get flared plus range or reload master work, I'm okay with it. Oh. 
So I'm going to show you this island over here. To make the balls into the middle, you stand right here, aim up, and that should work. It also works around here, and this is a nice area because you're in cover from all the enemies. You can also do it right here. But like I said earlier, as soon as I touch down, as soon as there's enemies, I go for my sniper multis. So I'll be getting that right here. If I switch from Revoker to Whisper, it does chain the sniper multi kills together, so it still counts as the same streak. And it's done just like that. Now I can start doing my Jack Queen King bounties. First thing I'm going to do is throw a grenade down, then look at my bounties again so I remember what I have. Melee, Void, and Hand Cannon. So I want to be on Karnstein, some sort of void, and I'll do Devour and Karnstein at the same time so I can tank anything. This thing's going to die right here. It's going to drop two batteries and I'll get them both in right here. I'm going to complete melee first and then I'm going to move on to void, then hand cannon. While I'm getting Void ability kills, that's when I'll get my shotgun from the moon. I also usually switch to a concussion tube launcher and a whisper or no sorry not a whisper the worm a uh what's it called malicious birthright because no a thousand voices thousand voices train of thought for a second uh just because it's really 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 good boss dps Another tip you can do is start bouncing the balls off the floor so that they can be in a more advantageous place so that you can throw them all at once because there is a little bit of delay when you throw these so by having them all in the same place you get to do this right here that was my phone if I'm not mistaken I'll mute that So almost done with melee. For this Cyclops here, you know, just burn it with a concussion launcher, not a big deal. And then you can melee the base of it. It works. That was a good tip from a uh, Twitch chat. I'll be probably switching subclasses anyway, so now I'll do it now since I'm close to finish with melee. It's better to be on top tree with controversy hold because you can charge nades and get them back. So there's Fisticuffs done, now I switch from Karnstein to Controverse, and I get a couple hand cannon kills, get those grenades back, and everything is going to be smooth sailing. So I'll be getting hand cannon kills to refill my grenade, complete the hand cannon, 
grenade kills recharge my grenade too. Or the hits from the charge controversy. Uh, it's also worth mentioning I got impact induction on the Karnstein, so that if I ever want to cycle my abilities a little bit better, I can do that too. That's an option. It's just on this forge, Controverse is uh, better than Karnstein for the Void ability. As soon as I throw this nade, I get my reload, so... Should be stunned. Good night. I want to stay up though. I want to see the McGregor fight. McGregor and Cowboy fight. Yeah. You'll probably just look it up on YouTube. Probably. <laughs> just watch somebody on Twitch who's streaming it, but holding up a controller, pretending they're playing one of those UFC games. <laughs> Alright, we want this guy to go to the middle because he drops the Radiant Seeds. Like, yes, you can suicide by jumping off the map to, like, try to get them, but... You need to knock this guy to one-third health for him to want to teleport to the middle. I don't think we did enough there. Nope, so he should be... Yep, he's on me. And you also have to get one hit in without dying in order to get kill credit for when you finish your frame. Otherwise, you get no reward. So those are it. That's what I'm here for, Radiant Seeds. And I've completed the frame. But we're not going back to Ada yet. Because to buy a, a frame, like the Tatara Gaze or whatever it is, you need Modulus Reports. And so since you get two per completion, and it costs six to buy it, you spend six to get it initially, or the Ballistics Log to get it initially. Then you do two forges in a row to charge the Tatara. And then... Go back to 801 because it says return to 801. Then you do one more frame after that. You get your actual sniper rifle. Then rinse repeat. You go back to the moon to grab your shotgun. Go back to the tower to grab another frame to charge and your Jack Queen King bounties. Rinse and repeat. But but in our case, we accidentally did one more forge, remember? So shouldn't we go to Mars to get the Radiant Seeds? No. As soon as I started the recording, they don't remember that we did one of these extra. In the case that you do one of these extra, what you want to do is go to Lost Sectors because they're faster for the same amount of Radiant Seeds. So if you had Infinity Modulus uh, reports, you would just do Lost Sectors as much as you could. But because I want to do this infinitely, I have to try to get Modulus reports extra. I didn't expect to get hit there, and I still missed. I didn't expect to get teleported there. Uh, sometimes after throwing a ball, your character model goes invisible. I'm going to try to do that for you. Right when you're charging. Unfortunately, it does not activate Demolitionist if you do that. I'll, I'll show you here in a sec. So, see, I have zero bullets. I'm going to throw this and try to make myself go invisible. So see how you can't see my arm right here? Even if I throw this, it will not proc Demolitionist.
Uh, feel free to obviously like skip ahead in the video or whatever if you don't want to sit through the whole thing. Any relevant tip I can think of, I'll just say. Like obviously I lured this guy over here so I didn't have to carry the balls. Did you already go over the spot you need to go to for the uh... for the other side? No, I didn't. Galaxy switch sides with me. So for this side, there are three spots. This is the most consistent right here, and you just aim up towards it. If you want to aim slightly lower, you can jump up on top, which is nice because there are two spots to throw and juggle balls towards. And then uh, there's also this little pocket right here where you can get them stuck inside. There's this pesky hobgoblin up top, so this is why I have a concussion launcher. So right here, and if that's angled right, it should go in. Yeah, easy. So almost done with both void ability and hand cannon, and then I'm going to show you like the ultimate strat for wiping this quickly when you don't have to worry about Jack Queen King. That's void done, now I need hand cannon. Once again, concussion launcher is king here. I don't need nade kills anymore, so I'm just going to throw it off the map for a free reload. I was invisible there. That didn't count as a reload. And then I'll show you the other spot. So once I kill this uh, Cyclops, I'll show you. It's going to go off. Not a big deal. All right, so this is the alternate spot right here. You can bank balls off this um, wall right here and try to bounce them anywhere in this area. Then you just stand against this, aim for the... Uh, the it looks like it's going to hit the top. Sometimes it does, but it still goes in. So like I said, once I finish these hand cannons, you get the efficient strat. Hopefully that was enough splash. It wasn't. How much more do I need? Just a couple more kills. So I'll just sit right here and farm them out. So there's hand cannon done. Two more. Did I get what I needed? Actually, two, two really good rolls. I'm not disappointed with those. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to sun bracers and attunement of the sky. This is the OP combo, so get as many in-air kills as you possibly can. Just short hop every time you shoot something. It's worth because in-air kills will give you the melee. Now that I have the melee, let me make him immune for a sec. Clean up with the melee, and now you get to throw grenades forever. This is how you do the Firestorm bounty. So it's good I'm showing you this. This is also the most efficient way to just play this in general. Now, a tip right here is that if you grab a battery, you can beat things to death with the ball and it will still proc some brazers. So that's what's OP about this strat is now you activate the heat rises and your sun bracers activate and you can just float around here reactivating it by just picking up the ball and hitting a trash uh, mob with it. So all of us have to get a shot on the boss. Uh, whenever we turn in our finish frame, we're, we're going to be doing one more set of these, but I'm going to just show you how this looks as a cycle. Um, if everybody has not collected all 20 Radiant Seeds, then we want the boss to teleport to the middle. I have all the mines right now, 
I have that's all of mine. Nice. Galaxy, do you have yours? Indeed, I do. You do? Okay, wipe them. You can go inside the uh, center of this right here. Of course, you'll trade sometimes, but that's okay if in this case we don't need the seeds. So there's a timer at the end of this that's pretty quick. So as soon as you see your rewards, don't look at them. Just immediately travel where you need to go. And in this case, I'm going back to the moon because I finished the Essence of Rage and I can turn it in for a shoddy. I also finished all three of my Jack Queen King bounties. And so once I go to the tower, I can go get those. That's actually a really good bad news too. Let's look at all these. I don't like the masterwork on that one. I don't like the masterwork on this one. Uh, but ideally, this is what I'm looking for. Just a range masterwork here, fast draw, high cow, and Rico, threat detector, and swashbuckler. I will take snapshot sites, but I'm not happy about it. I want threat detector because it increases the stow and draw speed. So if you're curious about that, I actually do have a video on that. If I remember, I'll put it in the description, but if not, just search Cami Cakes Handling and it should pop up. So I have the shotgun now, let's check it. Threat detector opening shot. You can get quick draw where that threat detector is, so it's kind of a useless roll for me. If quick draw did not exist on these shotties, this would be the ideal trifecta. Full choke because it does not reduce handling. Handling masterwork and threat detector. But this one can get quick draw, so what you want is instead quick draw, rifled, opening shot, range masterwork, or full choke, one-two punch, just for consistency. Let's look at this. This one's actually not bad. If the reload is speedy, that might be worth using. Of course, if we're talking 110s, the Duke usually has better everything. Uh, for example, you can get Rampage or Kill Clip here plus Opening Shot right here. So it's just a better combo on top of better base stats. So you can already see in just this like short session of farming, I've already got a lot of different drops. Not to mention, anytime you do a Black Armory Forge, there are weapons that drop at the end of it, like Valigant, like Dead Man Walking, a Galliard, a rocket called Huskow, the, what is it, a Cantha, a Latha, something like that. It's a grenade launcher. Anyway, what you really, really want from those random drops, the Showa 4 Sniper in the Kinetic slot is pretty good if you don't like Revoker for some reason. But the real shining star of the forges, I think, is the Dead Man Walking. This exact role, it has taken me many months of playing these uh, forges to actually get this. Quick draw, kill clip, and max range, and then the second best range sight that doesn't have any decreases. So if I want more stability, I go here. If I want more range, I go here. This thing could have rivaled Recluse at its best, but now that Recluse is a skill weapon now, which I'm happy uh, with, you might see me use the Dead Man Walking even over Recluse just because of Quick Draw. If we're talking pure sidearm usage, I think the Drang is just a better archetype. But if you want to use an SMG, then this sidearm might be a good substitute for an SMG. Because it still is full auto, it still has a really fast rate of fire, and then it also has Quick Draw and Kill Clip. So we talked to Ada, we got the finished frame, it wants us to do another forge, and now I'm going to grab three more Jack Queen King bounties. Now, slight tip for efficiency here is just grab three of them, it doesn't matter what they are, even if you don't need it. Like, see how I got Spelunker there? And then Cabal Slayer back to back, that's like perfect. I'm only going to delete one of these, because if I deleted both of them, that would mean Cabal Slayer and Spelunker are back in the possible pools. So just like slight optimizations you can do. And, and slight optimizations on these kind of grinds uh, really save a lot of time because like I said, what I'm going for is a really statistically improbable roll and this could take many weeks. And so if I'm shaving, you know, 10 seconds, 30 seconds off something that I'm doing every 15 minutes for weeks, that's a lot of time save. 
That's like the MMO approach. Uh, I'm ready to go when you two are. Yep, I'm good to go. I realize I didn't buy the shotgun at the moon. I'm not worried about that. I'll grab it on the next pass. Pretend that I did, though. Uh, the thing about the shotgun is you can't do it infinitely because it costs legendary shards to buy helium filaments and use a lot of helium filaments to do it. So only when you have the spare legendary shards should you be going for this. But other than that, you don't necessarily have to do Jack, Queen, King. This is just the hand cannon that I want. I actually do have a Jack, Queen, King video, but after I learned a little bit more about handling, I realized what my god role is. So melee void hand cannon. Best way to do that, Karnstein on. Gonna go bottom tree void. I could even use scatter nade here if I wanted to. Scatter grenade is kind of an RNG grenade, so I wouldn't even bother. Axion doesn't one hit everything, but Vortex does if you trap them in it. And I can guarantee that I trap them in it because of the concussion launcher. So this loadout isn't just random, it's really, really thought out. If you shoot a hobgoblin in the head, it breaks it, and so then they don't go into that invincibility state. Uh, in Destiny, though, the bullets do bend, so sometimes even if you aim at the head, it's still going to hit the body for some reason. So aim at the health bar, or pretend they have a health bar. And I am playing mouse and keyboard, by the way. I'll switch the controller right now to prove this farm can be done on controller. I know, there's going to be some non-believers out there. What makes them think that you can't do the cell controller? It's a joke. Ah. I see. The joke went straight over. It's a mind. joke because normally when I play PvP, there's always somebody. There's always someone who goes, lol, controller. And then I switched to MNK and hit an even better shot. And I was like, yeah, man. I, I don't know how people do this on MNK. So I'm making that joke now. Yeah, man. I, I don't know how people uh, do this forge on controller. It's the same idea. Try to lure them inside. Since I have to punch things, I'm just gonna go punch things. These count as melee kills, by the way, so if I wanted to beat everything up with that, I could. And because I have Devour, it still gives me grenade energy back. You can obviously get flinched off those uh, tosses. And then right here, I have double bomber on my class item, so I get grenade energy every time I do that. I want to kill some other things, so I get my nade back first. I don't think I can kill it in time. No, I got it. So just get them locked here. RNG manipulation. This guarantees the perfect Tatara. Let's see where I'm at right now. Void, hand cannon, melee. If I land the 360 headshot, I'm getting the sniper you want. Shit. I've heard some people say that Jack Queen King has like unusual recoil. I feel good on both controller and MK with it. Punch this. It teleports usually when it targets, so I have to wait for it to teleport. There we go, now it's stuck. Like I said, I get devour from that. Devour equals grenade. And 
no devour for a sec, so I might as well use my super. Chat's, a chat's asking if I think Jack Queen King is better than Spare Ration, so I answer that here. I feel like anything chat asks right now is what a YouTube comment section would ask, so that's perfect. It's not that I think Jack Queen King is better or worse than uh, Spare Rations, it's that I think Mindbenders is better than any kinetic shotgun you can get. With the exception of Chaperone, which is why I want a Jack Queen King. I want the best hand cannon to pair with Chaperone. I would go for Kindled Orchid. Kindled Orchid could get explosive rounds and quick draw, which is really, really good. But if I'm using Chaperone, I'm either going to be on a Dawn Blade or a Way of the Wraith Night Stalker. And on Dawn Blade, explosive rounds is good. But on a Way of the Wraith Night Stalker, you can't proc the uh, Crouching Invis headshot thing with explosive rounds consistently. So Kindled's a no-go for me. So I need something that's more universal, something I can use on anything. And for me, that's a uh, Jack Queen King. So Spare you get to use with Mindbenders, which is the better shoddy. But this lets you get kinetic exotic options like the Izanagi, like the Chaperone, etc. And with this, we can melt the boss because we don't need seeds. So we can kill it right here. This is why we use Thousand Voices. And just like that, we got our Tatarges. Everyone put damage on the boss, so we all get the drop. And once again, I'm not going to get tempted to look. I'm just going to assume RNG hates me, and we're going to the moon. <laughs> I got rabbit hit and kill clip <laughs> with a uh, uh, drop mag with a reload mass dork. Remember that time I was going to farm this for weeks? Okay, not today. That would have been sick, though, if that was on a... Uh, if that was on film. Could you imagine? You know what, I think the real meta strat is not to release this video and just keep doing it. Keep doing takes like this until I get it. The perfect one. In the first try, holy shit, man, this is incredible. By the way, not a video for kids. Kids can't handle this level of uh, efficiency. Or you can just edit the footage. Uh... Yeah, exactly, just an abrupt jump cut. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and just like that, I got it. Coke Gaming! <laughs> Coke Gaming. And so here we are back at the moon, back where we started, and we're gonna do it again. Uh, you know, just to push this video over 10 minutes for that ad revenue. Oh fuck, you're still recording. <laughs> yeah, I'm still recording. So in conclusion, this is just a really, way, a really easy way to consolidate your time, get a lot of weapons, and hopefully have some really strong stuff for PvP. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be doing more like this. You'll probably see the same background footage over the next week where I am just talking about random shit while doing this in the background to keep the videos coming. So, see ya.